Hey everybody, Austin Trench here, coming at you with a quick review of Bloodshot, starring Vin Diesel as a Vin Diesel archetype. This is based on the Valiant Comics character, who's basically more gruff version of Deadpool mixed with Frank Castle. I have never seen the comics before, but the trailer had interest me with its Johnny Cash cover of Memories, and I was unaware of the production problems that this film had, especially with it being greenlit by Tom Rothman, and uh, well, you know all the good things that he's made. Regardless of that, what did I think of the movie? I thought it was flawed, but it was a lot of fun. I don't compare it to Venom. It kind of reminds me of the 90s Spawn movie, which I am a fan of, by the way. But yet, at the same time, it feels like it's trying not to be a comic book movie, given that Tom Rothman does not like comic books. I do appreciate what the young directors that tried to make this put into the effort. It does feel like they care about the source material, and they want it to work. Vin Diesel does a good job as the character. He can be both likable, funny, as well well as gruff and intimidating. It's basically a copy of Robocop in a sense. For real, I kept having flashbacks to the remake of Robocop as well as the original 1987 film. The bad guys are kind of generic, but it is playful how they don't take themselves too seriously. And there is a bit of a running gag of, well, if you've seen from the trailers, they lie to him and fill his head full of fake memories, so they have to repeat a lot of things to him. So you can tell they're getting really sick of it quick. I won't talk too much about the cast, but there is a surprising amount of characters that do grow on you that you do end up enjoying. I do like how silly it can be at times, and it shows that there is a level of playfulness to the source material. The carnage and fight scenes are scarce, but when they're well done, you can see how well done they are. Interesting shots where you see Vin Diesel's face blown off and rehealing itself is quite interesting to watch, especially given what he's become. You could see this level of disturbing stuff that I wish Deadpool was kind of involved in, but this is a more serious version of that, so regardless. I really did enjoy this film. I give it a modest uh, 7.5 out of 10. And with that said, that's all the time I have for this review. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you can, and let me know what you think about the Valiant comics, and do you even think that they can pull this off, especially now they have to go to VOD. Later.